Hello, Steve White, Trekboy89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, I just watched Star Trek Picard Season 3, Episode 10, The Last Generation. I wanted to do a little spoiler review. I just did a proper review, which is 15 minutes long, and there's still a couple of things I sort of wanted to say that were sort of general, and I sort of thought, I, I just want to do a non-spoiler um, thing, just sort of just expressing how much I loved the show. Um, it wasn't perfect. There was a really stupid Orville moment, which kind of undermined um, another moment, but it was just one moment. The rest of the episode was pretty much flawless and really delivered. And there were some sort of dull sort of episodes in over the series where, you know, obviously they were saving their budget for this last episode and they really did manage to pull two seasons out of the budget of one season. Um, they really managed to split season two, really, the budget, and do a time travel series in, you know, on Earth's, you know, past where they could save some money and um, then write another whole season about basically wrote it around existing sets basically so they could afford it um and it doesn't matter because it was all about the characters and the story and that's what is important and that's what works and that's what makes star trek for the most part they didn't have you know that's that's all they had on the original series was people wanted to tell great stories and um this was a great story it wasn't the best star trek story in a sense that it wasn't about exploration it was it was about winding up all the other stories and all the legacies and things um, that came from that whole era of, of Star Trek from, from the 24th century, basically, um, the Next Generation era. Um, and it was just amazing. I loved it. I mean, there were moments where I was literally, oh, my Godding, and, and just my, my mouth was hanging open. And there were moments where I was, like, speaking to the screen, like, telling characters, do this, do this. Um, <laughs> And that's just how invested I was in it. I cried, I laughed, I oh my godded, I yelled at the screen. It was great. Um, I'm shocked they managed to deliver as well as they did, that they gave us the ending that the Next Generation crew never really had. Because All Good Things was great. And then we went straight into Generations and First Contact and Insurrection and Nemesis. It wasn't the best ending. I kind of liked it in some ways because it was kind of open-ending, open-ended and sort of um, optimistic. But... It really wasn't the ending that we really, really wanted for the Next Generation crew, but also it was too early. They got another 20 years to have adventures um, before, you know, we had this other ending. But um, they really managed to deliver. The only thing they really didn't do that they should have was they should have had Whoopi Goldberg back as Guinan. She was wasted on the second season. Um, it was probably about money. She should have just done it anyway and just said, you know, just donate, you know, a basic actor's wage to like some charity on but on my behalf I'll show up basically. She should have done it. Um and yeah, I just I, they've really gone hard to set up legacy. And what really shocked me about this is is the um the mid credit sequence. It totally just throws out most of season two. It just totally invalidates um season two of Picard and I'm just really shocked that they did what they did. Now, I'm not sure if it maybe undermines the next generation a little bit because it's sort of like, what, does every generation have this experience or something? But um, if, if they don't do Legacy, I mean, it's it's set up, fans want it, it's the right thing for Star Trek to have an ongoing series, um, you know, setting like... Because I, I think of the next generation era as like contemporary future for us. It's like, you know, every 10 years for them is 10 years for us sort of thing. Every 10 years for us, I mean, is 10 years for them. And, and we're growing with them. And the show should just keep going and keep moving forward instead of going back. I mean, it's okay to have Strange New Worlds. We can have Strange New Worlds and we can have Legacy. But um, I really hope they make the show. Um, but because they really sort of undermine Season 2 and the fact they're asking the people who made Season 1 and 2 of Picard to now make this series, there may be some egos involved, it may not happen, but I hope it does, because it really looks it looks good. Um, it looks like it could work. And, um, yeah, I just, I just, I really enjoyed this ending to this sort of um, era of Star Trek, and I'm happy for them to go forward with Legacy. And um, I think it really works. It's a great ending, and it's a great setup, and I hope they pull it off. Because they, they, they basically, they didn't have any, you know, agreement from Paramount to do a series or anything. They, they just basically set it up like this is, this is the logical conclusion. This is where we should go. Let's go. And we'll just see if they actually, you know, take, take up that opportunity. Um, 
I don't know what's going to happen, but um, I'm hoping we get a Legacy series. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I really just wanted to share how much I love the show, how much I love the season, um, how much I didn't love the series, but how much I loved how it ended. And um, I just, I really felt some real closure for the Next Generation um, cast and characters, and I really felt they got the respect they deserved, and us as fans got the respect we deserved. Um, and if we can just keep that going for Legacy, it would be amazing. But we're probably just going to get stuck with Kurtzman's 32nd Century um, Starfleet Academy and, you know, his Discovery brand shows, um, and that's it. So, but I don't know. I, I'm just trying to be optimistic and, you know, just hoping for Legacy. But I'm going to go. We'll see what happens. Bye.